what I've started to train Dolly to do is to pull the cart. It's no different than having a horse, to be fair, but her body weight just helps pull it along. So she, she really likes it, just leans into it and keeps going. Obviously, it's all momentum, it's not that heavy, but let's go. But... Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back for another week of Bengawati Nomad. So, guess who decided to delete about three weeks worth of footage. I did, what a twat. Just sitting there, finish editing all of them. I was a few weeks ahead, which means I can just take my time and slowly collect um, footage and do it at a nice pace. And I was just about to press the uh, complete button and I pressed delete. So I deleted all my other vlogs I've done in advance. So we're doing a last minute Sunday boat tour and I'm literally just recording it now. I'm going to press upload. There's no major edits and this is it. So I'll talk you through what I've been up to and uh, I'll take you for a tour. So there's no preparation for this vlog. Grey old man is back. I've had no time to dye my beard and I'm in my old scruffy clothes. I've just been doing housework all day today. Housework and house jobs. So I've emptied the rubbish. I've done recycling. I've hoovered. I've mopped. I've swept the roof. I've shampooed the outside of the boat. I'm just about to wax it and buff it. Watered the plants, um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so, but um, I'm knackered. I'm ready for a gin. It's Sunday evening, well, it's Sunday afternoon, um, and I'm gonna get a barbecue started, and I'm gonna sit and chill with a cold cider and enjoy what's left of this glorious Sunday afternoon. So here we go. Here's the outside tour, and then I'll show you the inside. I moored up in a really, really beautiful location. Look how green and gorgeous it is. Literally what you see is exactly what it is. It's beautiful. It's nice and sunny, but part shaded. It's just beautiful. It's a place called Bullburn. Um, I think that is how you pronounce it. Lovely pub at the top of the road. I met some lovely people. Look at this, stunning. So let me take you on the tour of the outside. We'll start at the front. It's looking lovely. So let's have a little look. Here comes Dolly with a bloody stick. That dog and sticks, I tell you, she's in her element. So let's have a little look. I'm not, to be honest, done too much tidying. All I've done is, is hoovered and swept, uh, hoovered and mopped, sorry. So what you see is how I live. I've just got a lady who's coming past and waving at me, actually. I met her on the towpath. This is the front of the boat here. How you doing? I'll just keep filming because this is real life. So uh, this is the front, I've got all my herbs, I've got my strawberries growing, I've got my flowers, so uh, it's looking rather nice. So uh, that's the front where I sitting up morning coffee. Flowers are looking good. Here we are. You off. Oh, bless you. <laughs> You'll see yourself. I'm just doing a vlog at the moment. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a walk back because I'm tending to walk back on my route. Oh, yeah. Because I'm, I'm not... I'll tell you, I, I, I uh, I've got a few, you know, I've got a bit of time, so... Yeah, nice. Oh, lovely to see you. You too, lovely to meet you. I'll see you again. See you before I leave. Oh, <laughs> have a lovely trip. Bye, Bye doll. Oh, I met that lovely lady on the towpath. She was just talking about single life and she's 60 years old and I was saying to her, you need to buy a boat, it's the best thing ever. And she just said it's, a, it's a, like a really nice relaxing time for her. So, oh, bye love. There she goes. So she just rented that boat. It's so cute. I think it's 27 foot. So if you do see yourself on this vlog, good luck to you. Lovely lady, really, really sweet lady. Right, back to um, what we're doing. So, sorry for the random interruptions, but this is towpath life. So yeah, front of the boat in here, inside this locker, underneath the Buddha, we have gas and some tools and maintenance bits. On top, just there, is all my um, herbs. Down here is garlic, fresh garlic that I'm growing, some plants. These are strawberries, and then I've doubled the same size. So the other size got strawberries, garlic, and herbs. Fresh drinking water, which I'm about to put inside the boat. Summer to sit and chill. You see my, you see my new table and chairs. Up here, I've got chilies um, and other flowers and bits and bobs and some herbs. Hiya, how you doing? 
And then up here, oops, I've got my chilies and my strawberries. Flowers are looking insane. I use this for a bit of a picnic area. So at night time, I could take the little lanterns up there and I'll sit out with a cup of tea or a glass of wine. I'll just sit there or in the sunshine, sit and read a book and just chill. And uh, along here is going solar panels in the next two weeks. So that will go down a little bit. And then uh, let me just jump off for a second. So that's the front of the boat. Dolly. And then we've got the side hatches or duck hatches as they're called. Um, I've just put my little piangi plant on the top just to get some fresh air and some sunshine. And then up here we have the storage, so I put stuff like my little trolley, which I collect wood in on dog walks, and I've got my hose pipe, my mop, some gathered wood that's just drying, another solar panel that was already on the boat. And then we've got back here. I feel like this is a really, really random vlog and a really random sort of tour because I keep getting... I keep stopping and starting, so bear with, it's a bit thrown together. But this is just what it is. This is the back garden. So again, loads of nice flowers on top. These are all colour coded, pink, purples and pinks. So it's all nice and matching because you know I like a little, a little system, a little way. Step on board. Underneath here is the engine. This is the tiller, which you attach another long piece of metal and that's, that's what steers it. Um, and then we've got obviously all your dials. So the peony normally lives here, but this is Dolly's little outdoor section today. I've got security cameras, which when these doors are shut, I've got security cameras on the front and back. And we also have some security lights, which are really good. Just for even if you're sitting outside, it's lovely. Um, but they're good in case anyone comes along the towpath at night. That's the view. Right, and then this is us going in. So you come down the stairs. These have got storage in these steps here. Dolly's little cupboard. And then I'm just gonna flip us around. Tea and coffee station, pots and pans. These are really good. These were from B&M and I thought, oh, they won't be all that. And actually, they're really heavy duty. I like the look of them. They're all rustic looking. That's the brand, Peter Cook. But honestly, they are for non-grease, um, non-stick pans. I spent a lot of money before on pans and these are actually brilliant proper non-stick which is insane um that lovely cup was also from being there i get a lot of people ask me about the cup massive excuse i need, i just bought bleach because i've washed it but you know you drink loads of tea so they're getting bleached later um but i need somewhere to throw the water you can't put it in the canal so yeah but it's um that's them but these are really good they weren't even expensive but they're so good for non-stick honestly that's the matching big one so this is the kitchen then we've got the electricity cupboard here Oh, one-handed electricity cupboard this is like all my inverter and power this is where i keep stuff like pasta butter and rice and um, cereal bits up here is like control panel tells me how my batteries are and then we've got the sink on the cupboard storage just the your normal stuff really i don't have to worry about my drawers they're all i'm too ocd everything's lined up and it's lined up and organised. So shampoos, dog shampoos, random bits and bobs. Then we have what could be called as the disco part of the bar. Disco lights ready when waiting. That's the fun station. So, uh, and then what I did the other day is I put these little cable ties on just in case there's any movement, so I don't have to worry about spilling it a drop. The other side we flip round is. You've seen this in a previous vlog. This is all my spices and herbs. This is my cooking area. I've got this beautiful um, pesto morty of date, solid, really heavy. Got it from a corner shop, it's really nice. Um, yeah, that's my kitchen. Lots of fresh green flowers. If we spin round, we've got the dinette, which also turned into a bed. So underneath here is all water, uh, water is all storage underneath here both sides so I keep like logs and coal under both of them and that also works as works as like ballast so it, it keeps us um boat stable this table turns into a bed it just drops down I've got my little flowers got my incense and stuff um I found a really cool little device today which I'm just set up this afternoon and it's this and it's just an automated water presser so what I'm gonna do is put one of the canisters of water down here out the way it sucks it up through this little straw and then I've got fresh drinking water Nice and easy without having to decant it from 
um, you know, from a jar to a jar. I just press that. You don't even have to plug in, that's just charging. I can put it anywhere in the boat. I've got fresh drink water, um, which is great. 20 quid off Amazon. Then I've got the washing machine. I've got all my um, bits and bobs in here, storage, plates, everything, everything. Um, that's the dinette. My little flowers and plants, roses are looking really nice. And then if we come round, I'll spin round, we've got the fireplace, Dolly's little bed, because she normally sleeps by the fire. And then we swing around and da, 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 here is the lovely new sofa, which I'm loving. I love that little corner. Matches perfectly with the greenery of the um, wallpaper and all the plants. So that's that. You're going to hear a fang now, that's the bathroom fang, so. That's my front room. That's there. Right, spinning through into the bathroom then. You're gonna hear a fang, so excuse that. This is the bathroom. I'll spin around this side. That's the shower, lovely big shower. I love my bathroom on boats. Bathroom and toilets are all the conversations you have, but to have a lovely, decent bathroom is such a game changer. Now, so many of you ladies have been asking, where do you keep your clothes? Where's your wardrobe? This is a little, if you see, between the bathroom and the bedroom is a little, little den. I'll just open it up. I've got my minimalistic clothes. This is my dirty washing pile down here, so I'll just keep that tucked out of the way. That's ready to get washed. And then I've got all my clothes here. And I just close it off. No one can see it's even there. Just looks like a curtain. This is the bedroom. You've seen that wallpaper. 12 million pillars that everyone comments on. It cracks me up. And then this is the bedroom. Gotta love a good pillow, don't ya? Got some ivy. And then this is the outdoors. Where I sit and have morning coffee. I'm about to polish the boat, actually. You can see. That's the water containers that um, are gonna be filling up my fresh water on that device. And then this is the bedroom. We go outside here with morning coffee. Strawberries are doing so well. And that is my morning view. Every morning with a cup of coffee at 6 a.m. I just take it all in. Stop eating my stick. Come here. Stop eating my stick. You're such a little thief. Every time I get wood for the barbecue or the fire, Dolly decides to run off of it and chew it up. She's a tinker, that one. Right, it's barbecue time. I've done my jobs and uh, it's time to enjoy the Sunday. So barbecue, just got a cold beer out, first one of the weekend, and I'm gonna, excuse me, make some nice dinner. How beautiful is this setting? Look, this has been one of my little favorite stops so far. It's just so green, I love it. So peaceful, so green. The people you do meet on the towpath are really super friendly. There's no trouble, there's no hassle. There's a gorgeous purple right at the end. All right, let's get this little bad boy started. I fancied an outdoor dinner tonight, so having a barbecue, gonna have a a beer or a drink on the back deck. I'm just gonna sit and chill. I've got lovely neighbors over there. These guys are awesome, young couple, really nice. Uh, they'll probably be back later on. I'm sure we'll have a beer together. Is there any better smell than summer barbecue? I absolutely love it. 
He's got his legs out. <laughs> He's got his legs out. Loses all of his vlogs, but cuts his toenails for the uh, for the YouTube. <laughs> Once a tart, always a tart, should I say? Yeah, forgets how to press the save button on vlogs, but manages to not forget to cut his toenails because he's got his trotters out with the old flip-flops on. Honestly, still annoyed at that. <laughs> so cheers, everybody. First drink of the weekend. And it's a Sunday. Yeah. No work tomorrow, obviously, for me. This is my Saturday night, so it's, uh, yeah. Cheers. Earned this one. Mm. I do love a fruit cider. So I've been really productive today. I've cleaned the uh, cleaned the house. I've mopped, hoovered, done the roof. I have, uh, what else have I done? Packed away some food shopping, took away the recycling. Um, I found a tree that was down. So I took bits of that that was already cut up and um, just left. So I've got that in the car. So I've lugged a few bits of that over as well. And I thought I'll just start a little barbecue. It's a gorgeous afternoon and uh, it's perfect. The solar panel was in the sun and the boat was in the shade. And uh, I love the sun. So uh, I'm not currently in the sun anymore, but yeah, great little location. Internet's good. So hopefully it won't take me 12 days to bloody upload this vlog, unlike last week. Um, but yeah, barbecue seems to be taken. It's a good day. What are you not being up to? interact tell me what you're up to what you're doing what have you done this weekend what's your plans and uh, also what you're drinking oh she's a smoking baby she's a smoking tried giving her a wormer they're so bloody clever i covered it in honey and she lit the honey off and spat out the wormer i was like you little bugger so i've now got this mashed up bit of yellow wormer that's sitting by my sink that i'm gonna need to try and like bath with her tomorrow to eat because now she knows what i'm up to so she's uh <laughs> she's not having any of it oh yeah i keep getting people to stop me all the time saying oh your flowers look lovely so uh the boy's doing all right isn't he what do you reckon is it as good as you thought, or is it? Am I am I exceeding? Oh God, Dolly's digging to Australia for the Australia for the Australian viewers. Dolly is halfway there. She's there. She's coming to get you. Look at this dog. Hey, what's down there? Yeah, you. What's down there? Look at her face. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you digging for? I hope it's truffles. I hope you're digging for truffles. It won't be. It'll be like worms or something, won't it? Go on, Dolly, find me some truffles, all gold. Instead, I think you're just creating a mess. What are you doing? <laughs> That's called burying your head in the sand. <laughs> oh, God. The life of a bulldog owner. Everything revolves around sticks. <laughs> maximum stay this time I think normally I like to move on after a week but I might just stay I quite like it it's, it's nice and green and it's normally quite quiet it's really peaceful yeah it's nice 
Look at this, Chelsea Flower Show. I mean, honestly, this boy, I mean, there's no end to his talents. Oh, I do like your flowers. Yeah, I know, stop it, stop it. These old things, these are these old things I just chucked together. What do I say? What, my flower pots, the ones I just chucked together, those, those little babies, oh yeah. Oh, I didn't notice. They're only my, they're not even my good ones. They're just, they're just the ones that I just chucked together. They're the leftovers to my flower pots. Couldn't be bothered this year. They're just the quick ones. Oh, just when I stopped recording, a lady walked past and just went, oh, you've got a lovely boat, by the way. Stop it, I'm going to get, I'm going to have to take the roof off because my head's going to get so big, I won't even be able to get into it. Honestly. Got a lovely boat. Yeah, fucking worked my arse off for it. <laughs> 24,000 haircuts went into this boat. And uh, no holidays. <laughs> 15 years of stress. One house fall through. And uh, no boyfriends in between. So basically, it was worth it. <laughs> That's the key to buying a boat. Have no life for 15 years. Be a slave to the scissors. Basically be celibate. And the boat will turn out lovely. <laughs> I've had one beer, I can feel myself, that I'm, I've got a cheeky side tonight. I might just wait a disco light song and just get shit faced. I mean, what do you reckon? Comment below and hopefully I won't be shit faced before I see you coming. <laughs> Fire's going strong. Dolly's on guard. And uh, I'm two beers in. I think I've gone from building a barbecue to just keep, I'll just keep breaking off more wood off the fallen trees. I'm now building basically a giant bonfire. It's just getting bigger and bigger <laughs> to the point the actual barbecue has changed shape. It's starting to bow. So um, good luck on cooking on this, Liam. It can be it's char grilled all round. So everyone, that is the tour done. Um, excuse the fact the vlog is a bit thrown together I'm proper gutted that I lost all that um, footage. I had a vlog of me going through Blissworth Tunnel, um, which was a, that was a trauma in itself, I was so stressed. Um, I had lots of footage from me cruising my boat on day one um, and the first leg of my journey down to, from Northampton down to Tring. But do you know what? We've got a lifetime of um, memories to make, so there'll be plenty more and I'm sure I'll revisit that area again. But for now, I hope you have a really, really nice week. Thank you for messaging me um, and commenting. And if I haven't already said it, <laughs> there's Dulls. Hey girl. If I haven't already said it, thank you to the people who have bought off my Amazon and my wish list. And thank you for those people who have bought me a coffee. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you again next week. Ask away any questions. Let me know if you want to see anything and we'll uh, make it happen. Have an awesome week, guys. I'll see you soon.